Hey there, Boots Owen here. The dishwasher's making noise in the background. I've got the spider or the chassis or the bearing holder from the Bosch WFP 3300 up on top of the hot plate of my Stanley range. It's a wood burning range and as you can see, there's wood right beside it. It's been on for a few minutes. I can still comfortably touch that and I can touch the extremities there, but that's getting warm already. Down here, that bit of plate there is getting warm. Let's see, 63 there where the red light is. It's saying 98, it isn't, it's maybe 70. It's saying a very high number there, that's not correct at all. 46 up at the top, that's about right. Out on the edge, 60, 72, 64. And just over at the heat, 40, what's that, 42 in here. So the idea is anyways that as part of the bearing replacement on this Bosch washing machine, I've got to get new bearings in here. And usually what I do is I take the bearings straight out of the pack and beat them in with a hammer or a mallet or something in a piece of wood to cushion them or the old bearings as a, as a guide. And that always works on a washing machine. But this time, just for fun, I've put the bearings into the freezer in the kitchen, which is just over there. And I've got this heating up here. I think once it gets up to about, well, that's it's saying 89, 86 there. That could be about right. I can't really keep my finger on it. Once that side's hot, I think what I'm gonna do is drop the bearing in. I think it's the larger size that's on. So that's the 60, I can't remember, 6306 or something like that. We'll see as soon as it comes out of the freezer. I've got the kettle on as well, because it's time for tea. It's been on here maybe three minutes or something, the piece of steel. So that's a minute before I started making the video. Cast iron, not steel. I doubt it's that hot. Could be. I'm inclined to try it right away, because if it doesn't fit, well, there's nothing lost. It's not really, it's an interference fit to some degree. What I'll do is I'll nip down to the cellar and get a hammer or a mallet and uh, a little piece of wood to protect it when I'm tapping it in. It's given me readings of 85 there, down lower 135. I'm gonna go for it. We'll get the bearings out of the freezer. I'll bring this over and get the bearings out of the freezer. some welding gloves which I'm hoping will be good enough. And this is the bearing, it's uh, SKF 6306, I don't know what I just said. SKF, same as the original, but uh, the other ones aren't SKF. The ones for the other side. Now, all being well, this may just drop in. That's really cold. Huh, that really is that simple. Huh, <laughs> I'm quite impressed by that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it back on the heat then. It's going to fall out when I turn it over to do the other side. I wonder if the other side fits straight away. So then in that case what I'll do is I'll put this little block of wood here. I'll try the other side now without heating it again. That was, I don't know if I even needed to heat the cast iron. That feels a lot less destructive than mashing them with a the hammer. So these were cold to the touch, but they're not burning my hands or anything. The reason I'm putting my fingers in the center is because I obviously don't want to touch the cast iron. Something 
this lady. That's nowhere near as hot as the, the high side. Is the kettle starting to boil? Let's get the other bearing as a drift. So here's the other bearing. As coefficients of linear expansion go, this the freezer brings it from the room temperature of about what? 18 degrees down to minus 10. So you're only talking a few degrees. Whereas I'm on the kitchen table here, so I can't hit it too hard. Whereas moving it from 18 degrees up to about 100 degrees has a greater uh, differential in temperature. So That's the point, heating is probably more effective than cooling, that's where I'm going with that. Can't tell how far in we are, or if we're seating up yet. If you can see in there, there might be a little bit to go, but it's actually really close at that. Oh, and was I resting this on this when I was doing that? I wonder was I? Let's put it back down like that. I might have been resting it on the other side of the other bearing. And will the other bearing fall out now if I hit this? So it's actually warmed up quite a bit. That other side. And uh the weep hole is there. I don't really know that I need to hit it that hard because I shouldn't need to heat it anyway to get the bearing in. It's not an inter it's not a heat fit setup here. I'm just trying to make my life easier. And I suspect that other one looking in there is in about as far as it needs to be. It's still warm to the touch, but I can touch it. Not focus into the inside, but I can see. I'm pretty confident that the first one I did is in properly. It goes in further because the water seal goes on here. I'm obviously not going to put the water seal on yet because it's very hot. This side is the outside. No water seal. Can't tell. I think it's in far enough. I guess I could look back at the video that I made I've taken out that that bearing has gotten hot as well. So I'll leave this to cool down and then get on with the reassembly later on. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.